Hey parents, I just read a recent article that came out saying that um, Ontario students who experienced the longest lockdown away from school in class learning are on average about three months behind in their learning compared to other year cohorts. And the premise of this article was that this was now gonna cost the Canadian economy down the road these billions of dollars and um, <laughs> I felt that was such an insensitive message to send to parents right now who are worried about what just happened, the hard work they put in to try to figure out online schooling, the mental health crises that their kids have suffered. And so um, I think our focus now needs to be not fear tactics on your kid is three months behind, but rather uh, how do we make a recovery from this learning gap in a way that it is funded, that is wise, that is pulled together by expert educators, that does not use fear mongering, because right now, parents are very frightened when their kids don't do well at school. Children are very frightened when they don't do well at school. In fact, fear of not doing well academically is one of the number one driving levers for kids' poor mental health. And so we need to be receiving the upcoming report cards and looking back and giving them a narrative over this last year and saying, this was an anomaly. This is not a measure of you and your academic career. This is a blip. This is recoverable. We'll get you caught up. We'll make a plan for that. For some kids, the anxiety of falling so far behind means they're gonna be begging for you to get them a tutor or go to summer school. For other kids, it means I really need to put this year behind me. It was the worst year ever. I need to relax this summer. So I am not dictating to you what the appropriate course of action is. You need to make a decision for your family. But I can tell you we need to put mental health first and we need to hold our provincial government accountable for how they want to contribute to helping make up for that learning gap. It doesn't have to happen over the summer. It needs to happen shortly. We need to get this cohort back up to speed but fear and scaring people that they're gonna be left behind and that this is irrecoverable is not part of the solution.